Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part two of this news bulletin for today, July 27th, 2012. The website's ggnonline.com and on YouTube, DDarko2012 and DDarko2013. Um, so as we start here, um, uh, just to go show you what uh, YouTube is doing, some little tricks, some little tricks to the trade. I just got done uploading this video and I went in there and said this video has been removed by the user. I didn't remove it. They removed it. This, this video, this first video, is pretty hard to get up, just to put it out there. Um, but even with ScreenCastomatic.com, they were rejecting it twice. They rejected it twice. So, a lot of little games going on there, and I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so as we move forward here, I'll just do a brief overview of what we went through in the last video. The birth rate plunged, or is plunging, and is projected to reach the lowest level in decades. Uh, and this is because, of course, what the poor economy, uh, people are still hesitant to jump into parenthood. So then when we move on to this rigged economy, what does it say? U.S. economic growth slows down to all year low. So uh, no recovery in sight after people were told that there's going to uh, be a rebound and we're out of the recession. Well, now we're actually like uh, in Spain and, and Greece are in a depression and now countries uh, corporations are starting to admit that so using the economy as a uh, as a way to carry out eugenics or population reduction because people like these people who work for the bill the billionaire billionaires the real rulers their rulers because you know bill gates he's an elitist but he's not you know he's not the bosses he's trying to please them so in order to please the bosses he has to carry out this population reduction agenda and that's why they had a um, a conference on the 100th anniversary of the eugenics conference in London for the UK's Department of International Development where Bill and Melinda Gates launched the latest effort to blame children for poverty and will women's troubles and remember this uh, the population boom in the UK is caused by mostly immigration that's right uh, push many primary schools to the breaking point and the UK government, at least some in there, understand what is causing this. It's not that it's too many people, so they're going to blame the population, you know, for this. It has to do that with, uh, like the U.S., they have their borders completely open, draining uh, whatever uh, welfare system that they have. And, uh, you know, just for programs that people pay for. So it's here... It's been noticeable, noticeable over the last few years that the young single EU workers we were told would come here to work have now changed to families or those who are expecting. The majority of those pushing prams are the overseas in the EU. They said my road has 12 new babies in the last three years and none of them are Brits. It says here that uh, the last government brought in pregnancy money, baby bonds, when they were born, free breakfast clubs, family credits, and the list goes on. But they're going to be uh, teaching or brainwashing these children in disused shops and warehouses as a result. So what you're talking about is an economy that cannot sustain the current population. So you could say, we'll have less people. Well, you don't have to have less people. You just have to have a better economy. But they don't want that. That's what I'm saying. Um, because they use money as a way to control people and control the entire planet. So you have to get rid of these extra people, these extra useless eaters. And the way to do that is through vaccines. So parents are now being asked to vaccinate their children themselves along with the elderly because you know uh, those pensioners you know again uh, they need to uh, they need to go right so yeah it says here that they're going to give them this shingles jab a vaccine uh, because each year around a quarter of a million adults mainly the elderly are infected with shingles so they do care about the elderly that's why they're going to vaccinate them uh, while at the same time hospital hospitals could be using care pathway to hasten deaths of elderly to save money so they're euthanizing them through the health care system but the one thing that the British uh, taxpayer can afford and the British government can afford is the um, Olympics, how Olympics hurt host cities more than help. So there's three uh, reasons cities should avoid the games. So private companies, not cities, are the big winners in bidding uh, process, meaning the bidding doesn't actually reflect the city's financial means. So they just go ahead and, hey, all right, whatever. Yeah, and once the city wins, the Olympics frenzy begins. And it goes on and says, afterward, leftover stadiums take up needed room and cost tens of millions to maintain, even as they provide little use. Well, they could be nice FEMA camps and stuff. But lastly, the games cost tens of billions of dollars and bring in closer to $5 billion. So it's not really an investment, right? 
except for if you're part of this global complex, this business complex, uh, like Pepsi and Coca-Cola. And it says here, Britain flooded with brand police to protect sponsors. Olympic security is in disarray, but organizers are taking no chances with corporate deals. So hundreds of uniformed Olympics officers will beginning, uh, begin touring the country today, enforcing sponsors' multi-million pound marketing deals and highly organized mission that contrasts with the scramble to find enough staff to even secure the games. Meanwhile, police deny Olympic residents access to homes. So same thing like in Chicago, no fly zone. Doing over there, what? Now they're locking residents out of their own homes. This is getting people conditioned for what's coming. Following a request from BBC security, police denied a family access to their tower block home overlooking the Olympic site in Stratford for well over an hour before having to acknowledge they had no power to do so. So the big uh, winners here are what? The billionaires, right? Billionaires, super yachts, dock and things for Olympic Games. So it says here, super yachts uh, equipped with helipads, submarines have joined the British biggest warship more than a dozen tall ships and cruise liners on the Thames River for the Olympic Games. They said we've seen some big boats here but nothing of this magnitude. Goes on it says this is the Port Authority. It's very unusual to have such a collection of vessels all together in London at the same time. Mm -hmm. Organizers of the Olympics are counting rich, counting on rich visitors to help fill the stadiums. That's right. Tickets for the opening ceremony were still available on London on the London 2012 website for £2,000 or $3,000, more than two-thirds of the median monthly wage for a Londoner. So we're talking about billionaires, right? They're the ones that uh, want to push this transhumanist uh, religion. It's part of a radical futurist conception of the future development of humanity. They say it can give us positive optimism and strenuous mood to overcome our current problems, which are all caused by the same people who are promoting this and embark on a cosmic journey. So they talk about science being considered as a tool given to them by God to enable them to resurrect the dead and, as promised, enjoy a mortal life. So they believe that godlike beings will exist in the future and may be able to affect their past, their present, by means of space-time engineering. And goes on says at least it is at least conceivable that remarkably advanced technology of the future may allow positive answers, like they have already, right? Uh, somewhat with communication and the internet, but uh, says here that our dec our descendants will have the godlike ability to recreate us in the future, giving us the unexpected prospect for immortality. They're calling it a renaissance of religion. So while we're talking about billionaires, the 2045 Avatar project is all about what? Do the billionaires crave eternal life? This is actually coming out of Russia as well. Uh, and that's what we were just talking about. Like cosmism, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's came, coming from Russia. And uh, that's where these avatars are coming from, a robotic copy of a human body remotely controlled via BCI, that's by 2020, then by 2025, 20, uh, an avatar in which a human brain is transplanted at the end of one's life, then by 2030, an avatar with an artificial brain in which human personality is transferred at the end of one's life. So this literally is playing God, right? If you do believe in an afterlife or possibly reincarnation or whatever, this is what it is. It says here, uh, 2040, a hologram-like avatar. So, this kind of segues into it, Harvard scientists to build Iron Man suit for the military. So, I never really got into the whole Iron Man. I never even watched the whole thing, but I think it was about a, uh, like a wealthy scientist. Or, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s character was not like wealthy, and uh, he created like a metal suit and stuff like that. And Batman was also wealthy, elitist, and stuff like that. This is all programming for the, what's coming, or at least what they're trying to push. So... But just like and they say it's for the military, and that's like they say the technology could be used for positive things. Like I was saying before, much of it isn't because it's it's created for the military-industrial complex, usually to help enslave you so that they can do what they want to do, which is this, human split species to be split in two. Uh, humanity may split in two subspecies in <laughs> 100,000 years' time, as predicted by H.G. Wells. So, so he was probably what, uh, uh, basically... Uh, talking about what the elites were talking about back then, which is what they want us to turn in these little um, uh, stubs or plebes and that, and then uh, they don't really get any better, they just stay the same while we degrade and um, basically de-evolve. And so, you know, with the economy being what it is, people don't have enough money to buy better food. They, And a lot of them, they can't really grow their own food. 
Um, so, you know, they're relying on this bad processed food, uh, GMO, a lot of it too. And they're actually making fun out of it now by what? Double Ducker Bus does push ups to mock fat Americans visiting the Olympics. That's right. Yeah, but if I remember correctly, I think England was up there um, with the United States battling out for the fattest uh, country. So, Good. eugenics is taking hold. USDA plugs meatless Mondays. Outrage ensues. Storm of criticism follows suggestion to employees to not eat Monday while dining in the cafe uh, cafeterias on Monday. And remember, uh, you have, what, the Prince Charles uh, of Wales? Yeah, he, was, uh, he has his own Angus beef, organic Angus beef cattle stock, but he himself uh, uh, tells Americans in the world to stop eating beef to save the planet. So food prices could jump 4% in 2013 and losses. Nah, I don't want to care, right? Food prices could jump 4% in 2013. That's all you need to know. So then Bill Gates will come in and say, well, we got to feed all the starving people. And because of climate change, there's not enough food. Well, because of weather modification, because of the engineering of the economy, there's not. So you see how they put you in a trap, the problem, reaction, solution. They're right there at the solution. U.S. government health journal uh, actually admits fluoride lowers IQ. Thus, children in high fluoride areas had significantly lower IQ scores than those who lived in the low fluoride areas. And the Revenue and Customs Department or Bureau is telling school children, tell your teacher if a neighbor is evading taxes. They're being encouraged by the government to tell their teachers if they know anyone in their local area who is not paying their fair share of the tax. eBay's new plan is to let kids go shopping. Auction site looks to target minors. Bad news for parents. They want your kids to start shopping on its site. Scientists are trying to control monkey brains and behavior with light. They reported online on the 26th in the current biology that have for the first time shown that they control the behavior of monkeys by using pulses of blue light to very specifically activate particular brain cells. Like everything else, it's going to help humans for therapeutic ends, it's a, for health reasons, to help the, the, you know, the prosthetic limb people, people without limbs, or the deaf. This is all stuff to help create these autonomous robots and these cyborgs. And I hate to say this, and I hope nobody gets offended, but, you know, they're talking about practicing on monkeys. Now, I was in the military. I was in the Marine Corps. I was never over there in Iraq and stuff like that, thank God. But still, it's like all those guys are coming back with all those blown-off limbs. What do you think they were? They were experiments. They were lab rats for this neuroscience that I was talking about with DARPA and that. So when the state eventually deems you an addict or you're just not happy enough being a good slave or you're obsessive compulsive about uh, tyranny, uh, you could be like clockwork orange and be considered a deviant. So uh, hopefully you remember the one of the main things, the points I think of this uh, Colorado shooting, uh, besides possibly a DARPA project, like I was just talking about for military purposes and super soldiers is what? And not the guns, they're making that all about the guns. It's what? A lot of these guys now, they're losing their jobs. They're going to just go into these places and start shooting up their bosses, right? So this is, this is what it's about. Going over the edge, right? Driver with apparent Colorado massacre fixation suspected of plan to shoot ex-boss. Then again, the 25th main man who claims he snuck gun into theater faces federal firearms. So when they searched his car, they found an AK-47 assault weapon, four handguns, ammunition. And this main man, he had the same thing. I mean, look at that thing. So this individual went and said, I'm a joker and I'm going to load my guns and blow everybody up, he allegedly said to documents. He was also wearing a shirt that said, guns don't kill people, I do. So this is a discredit all those that are against this UN gun ban or anything like that. So the UN chief's plea as deadline looms for the global arms treaty. They're making very limited progress. So the military will be standing ready if needed at political conventions this year. Well, Arizona Sheriff says the Obama birth certificate is definitely forged, saying it's a computer-generated forgery. But you're probably going to get, what, Mitt Romney, the other puppet at the Olympics. In this Dave Mustaine, Alex Jones interview, a commenter said they were using hardline Republican talking points in defending Romney. So is Alex Jones actually trying to push for a revolution and violence and uprisings? The U.S. is ready for it. They're set to brutally curb popular uprisings. Former American intelligence linguist says, you wait and see the kind of abuse you'll see against these guys. And we already knew the Department of Homeland Security was buying up enough ammo to wage a seven-year war against the American people. But now they're putting in for riot gear, calling it safety equipment.
and they also want to use spy drones for public safety. And beware if you're barbecuing in your backyard. Now they have drone-fired lasers. Thank you.